Right, so second video of today. I have done another video speaking about Waves NX versus Sonarworks. Now, this is a plugin that not many people have heard about, okay? Now, can opener is something I was like, what the hell is can opener? I didn't even pay it much attention. Now, can opener, for anybody that doesn't know, is a, basically a cross talk plugin. So, how do I explain cross talk to you very quickly without boring you? So, you have two speakers, okay? So, you have right and left. The left speaker going to your left ear, and you have the right speaker going to your right ear. Now, what happens when the right speaker wants to go to your left speaker and the left speaker wants to go to your right ear? <laughs> I'm getting my left and right mixed up. You have what's called crosstalk, which is where the two of them meet in the middle. With headphones, you don't really have that issue because if I wear these headphones, okay, what you will find is that the left comes out of the left and the right comes out of the right. So there is no crosstalk because there is no other way of the right channel coming into my left ear, okay? Because they're blocked. But another thing you have is called a phantom center. It's not when you're listening to your headphones and then all of a sudden there's just a, a noise that comes out the left speaker like <laughs> It is a phenomenon. I remember going through it in college and I'm so bored and then I, there I am now having to speak about it. But with speakers, you get what's called crosstalk, which is when you meet in the middle. Basically what it does is it has a different bass frequency because you don't get crosstalk in headphones. So what you need to be able to to emulate speakers and a studio environment in your headphones is you need to create crosstalk. Now, I don't know how they make it. There is algorithms. I am not a scientist. I, I, I don't care. As long as it works, it works. Most people use Sonar works, right? I find that most of the big mixing engineers, whether it be speaker side, again, you can use a mic and stuff like that and that can like recalibrate your speakers, but not so many people use can opener because they normally are mixing with stereo speakers. So they're just kind of like, I just want to, to actually have another reference. Where for me, if I'm actually mixing, mixing on headphones, which is what I do, then I want to have as much as possible. So yes, can open up the two of them together, it's quite expensive. You're probably maybe looking at about 120, 130 pounds. So I don't know what that would be, $170 or something like that. So it is quite a lot. There is a difference between listening, right? to headphones and speakers, right? Even with the headphone calibration, there are differences because of the crosstalk. Again, think about this, the reflections aren't getting to your ears. So again, even when I'm speaking right now, there is no reflections, my voice bouncing off the walls, okay, at different times. Now there is, and it sounds different, which is the reason why it sounds kind of really close and it sounds kind of a bit muffled and really close to my ear, and then all of a sudden, I kind of get that high pitch information coming back and it sounds a little bit more airy. That's the difference. There is always going to be a difference between headphones and speakers, which is why you need something like can opener. Try it out, it's mental. There is a certain way you have to get it set up. There's videos online. I just used the preset and it sounded great. I'm pretty sure it was like a mixing engineer preset. Stuck that on, job done, and then I mixed my first record, which is out now. Um, just a little plug there. <laughs> Say that, it's, it's, it's amazing. You've got the Waves NX, Happy Road stuff, and it's like, oh, Waves NX, oh, it's only 30 quid. Okay, that's quite expensive. There's a reason why you can pick that up cheap. It isn't as good, guys. Honestly, I've mixed with Waves NX, I've mixed with Sonorworks and Can Opener. Waves NX, it sounds weird, right? Really weird. Really, really, really weird. It just sounds weird and grainy, and it's just strange. It's odd. Um, but again, don't use Can Opener on its own. Because again, the last video that I spoke about, about EQ calibration, is what all you're doing is you're basically taking the EQ curve out of this and putting it in a room that nobody would ever have. Don't use it on its own. Just don't. It makes no sense without EQ calibration, right? You go, but I want it to sound like I'm in a studio. But it's not going to sound like it's in a studio because there is no studio on this earth after it's been acoustically treated. It does, that, it does not have an EQ curve like this. No studio in the world will sound like this or any headphone in the world. It is not going to happen. So don't try and listen to music in a way or mix music in a way where it was never, ever, ever intended and nobody will ever listen to it like that ever again. So there you go. There is another little bit of truth for you all about listening to music and mixing on music with headphones. So listen to this. Subscribe to this channel, check out the autism stuff as well, and check out the other video that I've got as well about Sonar Works and Waves NX, and I hope you have a lovely day. See you later, guys.